buying a property with less than a 20% deposit. This is possible and let me show you how it works. So here's an example. Say we're buying for $600,000. I've got a deposit of equivalent of 12%, which would be $72,000. Lender's mortgage insurance on this deal would be about $10,000. So the ending loan amount would be $528,000 plus the lender's mortgage insurance because that can be capitalized into the loan. And therefore the total ending loan would be $538,000. Stamp duty on this would be 30K. Could be less in certain states and also more in certain states like Victoria, but assuming 30K stamp duty, total cash required to purchase this $600,000 property would be $78,000, which is my deposit here, plus 30K to cover the stamp duties. Total contribution, $102,000. Same purchase price, if I did a 20% deposit, I'll need about $150,000 in total. Now, of course, this is a more aggressive strategy because your overall loan amount is now going to be higher. However, on the flip side of it, you will still have more cash on hand, which you can utilize for investment. Any questions, just let me know and please reach out if you would like to discuss your personal situation.